Hey guys, it's Phil coming at you once again. This time we're going to go through the front pump uh, disassembly. We'll check out, you know, your stator support, pulling it out, even the little pin inside, as well as your boost valves, your converter clutch valves, all that kind of fun stuff uh, I'll show you. So uh, yeah, look over my shoulder. Uh, definitely a good idea when you're first starting out, right? See how someone else is doing it and you'll realize it's not that hard. Let's go ahead and take apart the pump now. All I have right here is just a two by six, I guess. I drilled a one and three quarter inch hole here, and that's gonna fit uh, into our stator support. My stator's about a one and a half inch diameter, so I went a little bit wider. Yeah, there's sawdust, and you probably shouldn't be using wood, but it is what it is. I have a thinner hole here later on when we work on the front pump, uh, I mean the uh, input shaft. Uh, we'll work with a smaller hole. But for now, the one and three quarter inch, just mounted in the vise, turning it upside down. This way we have an easy surface to uh, work with. And right here you'll see there's five bolts. One, two, three, four, and five. What we want to do is take these out. They're 13 millimeter ones. And later we'll take these uh, torques out and pull our stator and uh, swap that out and I'll show you why. But for now, let's take these five bolts out and we'll separate our pump into two pieces. Uh, these are a little tight, so again, 13 millimeters. Probably want to use a longer uh, ratchet. Make sure you're on loosen, otherwise that'll be a bad thing. And again, you might have to put some muscle into this one. And again, these pumps are precision. Uh, we're gonna use it, we're gonna make some modifications actually, but we're gonna make some uh, high pressure coming out of it. So we wanna make sure that inside there's no uh, damage, scratches, that kind of thing. So let's hold our breath and hope for the best on that. Okay, we'll take our five bolts, put them on the side. We'll come back later and get our steeder right here get that out but for now uh, let's go ahead and separate our two pieces here separates easily and what do we got beautiful not seeing any uh, scratches any deep grooves anything like that that's always a good thing again these are very precise so you want to be careful on that end usually what we do is you just scratch your fingernail across it if you can feel the scratch with your fingernail that's a bad thing and it probably needs to be resurfaced I can't feel anything over there. So that's, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Go ahead and put this on the side. You can see all the gunk in there. So this looks like it's a factory original uh, pump assembly. Doesn't look like it's been worked at. It's got the seven veins. Right, two, four, six, seven. Right, that's your veins. This right here is the rotor. Looks like it's in uh, decent shape. And uh, this is our pump slide here with our spring for it. Two little grooves there. It's also in very good shape. Very nice, good to see. Very good to see. And we have uh, movement. Oh, one thing I didn't show you uh, is the actual number on the pump. Let's see if I can do this without uh, dropping anything. Right here, you got 082. Uh, that's an older one. A 690 is a much better pump. Uh, it's got a, uh, a hold here, so the bushing doesn't uh, slide out. But we'll talk about that later. But again, know that this is a 
082 pump, so we'll need to make some modifications to it. But so far it's in uh, nice shape. Oh, there's your 082 also. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get our stator support uh, out of there. I'm just using a T27 uh, Torx bit on a little uh, breaker bar. Again, I like to take care of the ratchets and not put too much uh, torque in there. I think these are tight, let's see. Again, it's a T27. Find the hole there. And again, put some muscle into it. There we go, that cracked it. Take your torque bits, screws, whatever. Put them on the side. And now that we have uh, those out, this should press right out. Uh, what you don't want to do is beat the garbage out of it with a hammer, smacking it through. Uh, definitely want to avoid that. Proper way, of course, is to use a press and press it out. So that's what we'll do. Go ahead and press that baby out of there. All right, now we're going to press that uh, stator out. As you can see, uh, just using an arbor press, you could use a regular press or uh, maybe even a ball joint press uh, might work. Um, all I did was put a couple two bys, uh, two by six in this example, uh, outside where the stator support uh, should be so that we can press it through. And I'm just going to press uh, straight down on the stator support. And again, it should uh, pop right out of there without too much force. As you can see, literally <laughs> no problem uh, whatsoever. All right, with the stator support pressed out of there, whoo, grab onto your uh, pieces of wood there so they don't go flying. And again, it's out of there, uh, no problem. Um, we're going to take out our assembly right here, spring and uh, valves, and there's also another one over here, and we're going to uh, replace those with some other stuff. Uh, the stator assembly itself, you want to inspect the spines, splines, if you're going to keep it, make sure there's no wear. Um, this is a problem point in these particular transmissions, so we're going to replace it with a hardened one uh, so we won't have any issues. But the important thing, we're going to need to keep this uh, little pin right here. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, press that out as well because we're going to use it. And we're also going to drill the hole a little bit wider. Again, that gives us some uh, extra lube for one of those uh, washers, the yellow washer that we saw earlier. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Press that out of there as well. And I put the stator support uh, back onto the arbor press. We're just going to go ahead and press out this uh, pin. Go ahead and bring our press down. Find our point. Hold this this way so it doesn't get snipping. Here we can see. should come right out pin notice we're just uh, it's got some knurled ends right some knurled ends so that's all that's really holding it in and when we put our new one in we're gonna drill out this hole as I said a little bit bigger and we're going to go ahead and press it into our new stator support all right, next up, we want to take apart uh, pump rotor, that kind of thing. Uh, you have a bunch of veins. Again, this is a seven vein uh, factory pump. What you want to do is pull these veins out of there. Take them and uh, just put them onto the side. 
ideally this will pull right out but in reality there's like a hydraulic suction pressure whatever you want to say is on there holding them so just go ahead and take your veins out one by one we're going to replace these anyway and where's our final one here there we go anyway pull that out Right, there's your plastic washer underneath. Our rotor looks like garbage, but reality, that's just a whole lot of dirt going on there. And put that uh, on the side also. Then we have our washer in here, so we're gonna wanna be careful. Again, a lot of corrosion, but we're gonna replace that uh, regardless. And here's our pump slide here. To get this out, notice it's held in place over here by our spring. So what we're gonna wanna do is uh, pry it out of there and keep your hand over it so that it doesn't go flying across the room because of course that would be bad. Uh, be careful when you're prying as always. I'm just gonna put this uh, paper towel there just for support. And again, uh, just so I don't uh, scratch our pump slide there. And I'm just gonna pry down with my hand uh, of course on top of it so it doesn't go flying across the room and it's almost there as you can see so again just one more final oomph and make sure we're not uh, hitting any metal and here we go All right so now our spring has been released and we're going to replace this uh, also with another dual spring And now our pump slide uh, should come right out of there. Again, it's held in with the uh, hydraulic pressure. I don't know what you call that, you know, when things get stuck together there. But you can see she's in uh, pretty good shape. And you have two uh, pieces over here. One, we're gonna replace those as well, but make sure you uh, get those guys out of there. Just use our little pick. pick her out thanks we got both of those pieces have our slide let's go ahead and put the slide on the side then we also have the pin that fits in there there's a spring underneath there as well check the condition of that not bad and as I said there's a little spring you can kind of see it right here Go ahead and get that little guy out of there as well. Inspect the uh, condition of the pump uh, surface down below. Again, if you could feel a nick with your uh, fingernail, that's usually a bad thing and it needs to be uh, resurfaced. But this one seems to be in great shape, so very pleased. Very nice. Just a bunch of staining, but of course, uh, we'll clean that up. Also want to inspect your uh, bushing here. And we're gonna take our front seal out as well. When we go to uh, rebuild this, but our bushing doesn't look too bad. Uh, yeah, actually I can kind of feel a little rough surface there. But no big deal, because we're going to put all new bushings into our system as well. Uh, the key point is uh, this surface right here. You want it to be nice and smooth. A lot of different ways to get the uh, seal out of here. Uh, could pry it up with a screwdriver. It's also the uh, bushing removal tool.
see we've got a nice groove in there. Easiest way, just put your pushing removal tool in there and just whack away at it and it should uh, drive her out of there. Let's go ahead and do that. There you can see our seal is uh, removed. And our seal surface looks very nice. Go ahead and clean that up later. Here's our bushing, of course. We're going to want to remove that too. And we'll do that later after we uh, clean it up really good. There's a hole here. We're going to want to enlarge uh, this hole. Uh, I'll show you how to drill that out. And also uh, this, the continuation of it. Uh, these seals have a bad habit of pushing out. So a uh, bigger hole here and on the other side uh, actually helps uh, alleviate that. So we'll do that modification uh, later on as well. Next up what we're going to do is remove the valve assemblies in here. There's one on this side. There's one on this side. And of course, there's a pin holding one in on uh, this side here. So how do we do that? Uh, just take a pair of snap ring uh, pliers, very small uh, pointed tips on the end. And a, whoa, sorry about that guys. And a small screwdriver. And what you want to do, See if we can do this with the uh, camera being able to see everything. A uh, little snap ring has two little holes, so what you want to do is get your pliers in there, squeeze it, again get your snap ring, and be careful of course the contents is under pressure and there goes our little snap ring flying through space but that's okay we'll find it and replace it but go ahead and take your uh, valve assemblies out of there taking note of the order that they're coming out go ahead and put them on our system there and our spring and of course last we have the valve assembly again we're lined up okay well next we have our little assembly right here and again the same thing uh, applies take your snap ring pliers And go ahead and put them in the holes and then squeeze and this one is obviously pretty far down I don't know if you guys can see that or not it's gradually coming out there uh, this one's also under a lot of spring pressure so careful in taking her out Just holding the uh, pressure back with a little screwdriver. And prying our little ring. 
piece by piece until she comes uh, all the way out. Keep prying around. And eventually, she will come out of there for sure. Right, there's our snap ring. Now be careful, contents under pressure. Our little plate, and there is our valve. Let's get that assembly out of there. Again, taking note of how it's coming out, so that we put it back in the same exact way. Our spring, and our last spring. And that's all we have in that assembly. And of course we have one more over here, which is just held in with a pin. Uh, we have to drive the pin out that direction. So let me just get a punch and we'll get that out. You can do that of course with just uh, hand pressure. But again, watch out for that spring. Don't let that spring sprung. We want to, of course, be careful of this surface here. I'll use something to uh, leverage against. Get our pliers. Keeping my fingers away from the end. And just uh, gradually pushing up again. Just using the uh, rubber as leverage here. I definitely don't want to scratch uh, this aluminum surface. And she's almost out of there. Prying here. go got our pin out of there and of course here's our spring Let's put our pin there and we got our little check ball and that should be all again our surface is all good so we should be good to go with cleaning her up and rebuilding her. Also on this half, uh, let's not forget to remove our giant O-ring, which goes around the outside. Of course, we're going to uh, replace that as well.